Albert Camus died in a car crash in 1960 at the age of 47. More than 50 years later, in his centennial year, what does he offer today's world? A new study, A Life Worth Living, Albert Camus and the Quest for Meaning, by Robert Zaretsky, confronts the issue directly. Canapé visits with the scholar who explains Camus' beliefs about rebellion, social injustice, and the function of the writer. There are many ways in which you can measure his significance for, for us today. Um, there's, of course, the beauty of his, of, of, of his writing, the, the sheer lyricism of his essays, or many of which he wrote um, on in the 1930s when he was still obscure, or the equal lyricism of his last work, the, um, the unfinished novel, The First Man. So there's the beauty of his writing, um, uh, which means as much to us today, um, and I believe will mean as much to future generations as it meant to Camus' contemporaries. In all the circumstances of his life, obscure or provisoirement célèbre, jeté dans les fers de la tyrannie, ou libre pour un temps de s'exprimer, l'écrivain peut retrouver le sentiment d'une communauté vivante qui le justifiera à la seule condition qu'il accepte autant qu'il peut les deux charges qui font la grandeur de son métier, le service de la vérité et celui de la liberté. A true moralist is somebody who cannot live at peace with himself as long as there are issues, there are questions of political or economic or moral import that are yet to be resolved. This for me is Camus' true significance, that he was one of our age's great moralists. His writings on Algeria, which are heartbreakingly honest, his efforts to explain what was taking place in Algeria, what was at stake in Algeria, to both the French, to the Pied Noir, and to the Arabs and to the Berbers. He was trying to speak to all of them. Uh, he truly believed um, um, that, in his famous phrase, that the French and the Arabs and Berbers were condemned to live together. As a consequence, Dialogue was of the utmost importance.